Hello, welcome back to the channel. We are off on our very first trip with our new caravan, well, second-hand caravan, that we bought back in November. We're off to Vauxhall Holiday Park in Great Yarmouth. The weather's looking a bit windy, but we're... It's a bit chilly. And a bit chilly, but hopefully it will be a smooth ride down. So we have, yeah, we literally just hooked up. There we go, we're all ready to go. The only thing we've got to do is test the lights. And I'm having issues with these mirrors. Someone tell me in the comments. Right, that one's like that. And then this one over here is down like that. But you can't put them the other way around. Claire thinks we've got two of the same. Two right-hand ones or two left-hand ones. Yeah, but on my packet they say universal, so I'm not too sure. Right, let's go on my let's ride. Let's get going. Before the traffic hits. That is us finally set up. It didn't take too long. I reckon probably an hour time we've got everything in. Claire did all the inside. I did all the outside. Um, yeah, it's a fully serviced pitch. I'll show you a pitch in a minute. Um, I'm not too sure on what amperage it is. I believe it's 16 amp, but I'm not 100%. I'll know when the, um, if we get the heating on and I'll put the kettle on and it trips the fuse. I know it's uh, only 10 amp. Yeah, so it is quite close to the bushes and we haven't got an awning up at the moment, but I am going to go and look at an awning because there's one for sale uh, on Facebook and he's in Great Yarmouth. It's an air, air awning as well. The pitch is all divided by these bushes, which is quite nice. And yeah, it's a little set up. Now you can put the waste water down here, but I haven't got a long enough pipe for that. I'm just using the uh, waste master, which isn't a problem. I'll just go around there and empty it. If you have an awning on, I think you might struggle trying to get your car in here as well. I'm not too sure. I'll find out tomorrow maybe, because we might be putting the awning up. You got from that bush there over to that bush there. Might be okay. I mean, we got all these people. People are braving it in this wind in their tents. We just need to pop to Asda now, uh, get some food, fill the cupboards up, fill the fridge up, and we'll probably take you for a little walk around later on. We're back. Evening. <laughs> We're back from Asda. <laughs> I think we bought a bit too much, didn't we? Oh, I don't think we did. Well, we bought too much that we couldn't fit in the fridge. Well, yeah, but the fridge is small. Um, we're just going for a little little walk, aren't we? Stroll around. Because um, I think it might rain the next few days. I don't think it's going to rain all day tomorrow, but we thought while it's dry, we'd go for a little stroll. Yeah. Should we go this way? Yeah. 
Yeah, they've got some uh, new new static vans there. <laughs> They're very nice. They are. These ones here are massive. They're like two caravans stuck together. These are those massive static caravans. Now, this used to all be pitches for tours. And it looks like they've uh, got rid of a lot of pitches. But these are absolutely massive. They're like double double static caravans put together. How long did it take us to get down here? Uh, three hours. Three hours. Traffic was awful. Should have took us two hours. Yeah, we left at, well, about 10 to 10. To 10. They said we were going to get here at 5 to 12. We got here at 1 o'clock, didn't we? Yeah. But you've got to expect it on a good Friday. We're going to walk down here and I'll show you some of the um, caravan pitches. We're going to leave it there for tonight. Um, it's getting a bit dark, so we can't really show you much more around, but we'll do some more filming tomorrow, show you all the different takeaways they've got, the different they've got Quite a few takeaways, haven't they? Yeah. There's like, and they're open late, like midnight, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Pizzas, all sorts. Tomorrow, we are going to head into Great Yarmouth, walk down the seafront. Yeah. Even but, if it is wet, we're still going. Yeah. I want to see the beach. I think it might rain a little bit, but not all day, so it should be, should be all good. Yeah. So we will see you tomorrow morning. Bright and early. Leah will be cooking breakfast. Yeah, we've got sausages. <laughs> right, bye. Bye. Breakfast was yummy. Yeah, it was, yeah. A nice sausage, uh, bat. sausage bat. Fill me up to lunch. Yeah. What's we're the plan, all, um, Claire? We're dressed and ready. We're just going to Great Yarmouth. Yeah, it's not even that cold, is it's it? It's not cold. It looks a bit grey, but it's not cold. The wind's dropped down. I tried to fly in the drone yesterday. It nearly, I nearly lost it. So I might be uh, have to get a few drone shots of Yarmouth. Yeah. As as you got it. Did you bring it? Uh, oh. I need my batteries, we'll get it. <laughs> right, yeah, so um, we're off to Yarmouth and we'll um, have a little look around Yarmouth. Mm -hmm. Go to the beach. We're in Yarmouth on this gorgeous day. Let's take a look around. I'm squinting like mad. Yeah, so <laughs> Claire, how much did you win on your bingo machine? One pound. One whole pound. So lunch is on you then. <laughs> I don't even think you can get a portion of chips with that now. No, you can't. No. So yeah, we're just walking along the beach. See behind us. It's so calm, isn't it? It's not windy or anything. No, it's really nice. Compared to yesterday, yeah. blowing a gale, started raining a bit. And we did expect to have rain today, didn't we? Yeah. But it's been all right. So yeah, we are just gonna walk over to the, what pier was that? That was like a little pier with like a um, bowling, bowling alley, alley on and an arcade. Just over there into the distance. It's, it probably looks further than what it actually is. But yeah, it's, I, like, I like Great Yarmouth Beach. Yeah. It's really nice. 
but for, a nice stroll. for late March, I think yeah. we haven't done too bad. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to rain Monday though, but we'll make the most of today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, head off to the pier. I don't think we'll be going on any rides. I think they're a bit too, too small for us. Yeah, no, we won't. The kids might nice. go on some. I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you If you want to take it back to the 50s, maybe I'm not the guy for you You're dying not to work, but work until you die, you know that's true Have you thought it through? Uh, Cause you love to tell me what to do Say no, I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it Yeah, so there's a pub on the end of the pier, and there's a nice seating outside. Mm, yeah. I've been in this pub at night, like at a nightclub. I think it was your brother's stag, stag or something, and yeah, this was open till like one o'clock in the morning. I remember running on that beach at like, me and, me and Dan were on that beach until about 4am, <laughs> a oh, bit wow. drunk. So we're on Britannia Pier and at the end of the pier they've got a theatre. There's quite a lot of shows on this year. Some are advertised for next year as well. We've not been in there though, have we? No, I don't think we've ever been in there. No, we haven't there. been in there. I don't know what it's like. Maybe when we come on our own without yeah. the kids we'll have to have a little look in there. Yeah, we do. Lunchtime? Yeah, I'm hungry. It's a chip shop. Lots of kids. Love, too busy filming a vlog and we've lots of kids. But they're teenagers, they're not little. No, they're only about three and four. This box. Who cares about your posts? I know they're only fake. Show us what you own and how much money. Lunch time, Claire. Yeah, we've got some chips. I've got fish. Because you go out of fish and chips while I buy a beach. So uh, tuck in. Yeah, I've got some ketchup. Come pay please. Guess how much? 50p. These used to be 10p. I thought I was going to get one of the really big ones. And how much were two, two bottles of fizzy? Five pounds. Five pounds for two bottles of, what, Coke? And Fanta. Unreal. What have you got there, Claire? It's not mine, same as. Did you win that? No, she bought it. She gave up trying to win one, so she <laughs> bought one. Just had our lunch, now we're going to yeah, we're just walking look up and down the shops. Some shots, but we've got about 45 minutes in the car park. I'm not paying another £6.80 to park for four hours. 50p each for ketchup. <laughs> You've spent £5 a lot. for drinks. It's gone up. Everything's gone up. Yeah. It's insane. You don't notice it until you get out and about either. That was a nice, uh, nice day on the beach. It was a nice day on the beach. Wow, well, and the arcades. Yeah. Yeah, the well, weather was really good. Yeah. I enjoyed that. So now we are back off to the caravan. Yeah, we're going to Cape Town. 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 Yeah, we are going to cape town yeah we are going to cape town yeah we are going to cape town yeah we are going to we went to bed really early though, didn't we? Yeah. Like 10 o'clock, I was shattered, had a banging headache. But yeah, tonight, a few drinks in my clubhouse, a bit of bingo, hopefully we can win some money. I'll buy a new caravan. We'll see. <laughs>
I'm off to see a man about an awning. As you may know, in our last video, Claire ripped the awning. Okay, no, I ripped the awning, print it up. And I had a lot of comments saying they're like a divorce in a bag, the pole awnings. So I've decided, as we're down here, I was looking on Facebook and there is a gentleman that has got one for sale at a reasonable price. It comes with curtains and everything like that. It's a Camper Ace 400. So it's a little bit bigger than the 390 we had. So I'm gonna go have a look at that now and uh, see if it's any good. And like that, I put an awning up. Didn't rip it this time. But yeah, we have uh, got ourselves a new air awning. Claire's munching ice cream. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's really good. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've all seen an awning before, but yeah. It's not bad. I think I may have pegged it down a bit too tight because it's a bit stretched there, so I might just go and bring it forward a little bit. But yeah, it's in used condition, but there's no rips or damages or anything. And we've got a side skirt there. It makes a hell of a difference though, just having this extra space, especially in the summer. And also, didn't rip the roof this time, which is always a bonus. Drop the kids off swimming, because they're old enough to swim by themselves now. So we thought we'll take this opportunity to have a little look around, show you all the camping facilities and all the pitches, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, this is our pitch. They're not the biggest. You see how close my car is to the bush and the caravan there is quite close to the bush. So with an awning as well, not the biggest pitches, are they? No, but I like how we've got bushes in front. Yeah, in I do as well. So these, they do three pitches. These ones are the super pitches and they come with, they're like fully serviced pitches. So you've got your tower, I don't know what it's called there, uh, with your water. It's got aerial point, your drainage, and obviously your electric. Now these super pitches, I believe, are all the ones around the outside. These are some that are empty, so you can kind of get a size of them when they're empty. I don't know, does that look bigger than our one? Because they, they do no. do a, another one, like a premium, but I didn't go for that but I, because I couldn't see what the difference was. So unless these are premium ones, because I feel like these are slightly bigger. But yeah, these just go all the way down. And then on the left hand side, these ones are literally just grass pitches, no water, no drainage. And they do have electric, but that's it. Yeah, they don't really have many fully serviced pitches. Probably I've counted about 13 or 14. Uh, other than that, they're all grass pitches with electric. Got a fair few people um, braving it in the old tents. It's a bit cold for that, isn't it? Oh yeah, I wouldn't mm. fancy that. So these are the water points to fill up your aqua roll. And they're pretty much on every single, don't know what you would call this, Claire. What, line? Row. <laughs> Row, <laughs> that's it. Um, but yeah, if you're all out there, you're gonna have to wheel it all the way back down to go and get your water. So just going back to our pitch, how tight was this, Claire? Getting oh, in. Oh, what, getting the fan in? Yeah. Yeah, you it, did a good job, Yeah, but I'm glad I'm a lorry driver. This bush was Yeah, in this the way. bush was proper in the way. And yeah, didn't really want to jack it around. Luckily, I got a reverse camera, but didn't really want to jack it around too far. But yeah, with a car on it, we were pretty much in that bush weren't we yeah, yeah. and then i was worried about hitting hitting that trying to get back out but yeah no we did it you managed it yeah so again just another whole row of grass pitches right so you've just got the waste disposal there the elson point there and these are just your ladies toilets showers. and showers isn't it yeah yeah i think there's washing up facilities in there as well they're not the cleanest that's a pretty cool setup, isn't it? Yeah, that is quite cool. Uh, I think they sleep on top. Yeah. On the top of there. But that's pretty, pretty good. So when we turned up this pitch here, 
he was struggling to get that caravan on that pitch. He got it on, but it was sticking half out onto a road. So I don't know if he'd given the wrong measurements or something, because that is a small, small pitch. Mm. And um, yeah, he gave up and just stuck it sideways. So yeah, so it's just all grass pitches as well. So I don't know where those premium pitches are, but like I said yesterday, if you're at the back all the way over there, especially if you were like, I mean, I don't know how you would, you ain't getting a caravan through there. So if you was on this pitch here and you wanted to leave, there's no way you're getting out. You'll be blocked in. So that's, this is the main, what, entertainment? Yeah, it's where all the, the clubhouse, all the takeaway places, the shop. Well, it's all in this yeah. complex, isn't it? Well, the clubhouse is there, the arena, the arena. We'll show yeah. you um, what there is for food. They do have a laundrette as well. Let's take a look inside. Open 7 to, no, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. 8 till 7. Look. Very funky corridor, though. Mm -hmm, isn't it? <laughs> Quite a few machines. Tumble dryers and washing machines. Prices? Prices, Claire? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no prices that we can see. You've probably got to go to reception or yeah. somewhere else. To probably find about out. a fiver. <laughs> well, maybe when you set the machine, it'll tell you how much to put in. Yeah, but I think you need tokens. Oh. I'm not too sure. They do have an on site pub. We ate in there, didn't we? Yeah, we had lunch. Yeah, it was really nice actually. Came. So, and they do have seating inside and outside as well. There's also a um, massive play area, which yeah. the kids are a bit old for now, but if you've got younger kids, it's really nice. it is really nice. So, this is the outside seating, and they do have a big play area as well. Now we've just seen some other camping pitches that they have along with some little pods so we're going to take a look at them. They might be where the premium pitches are mm. but, but again I'm not too sure. Yeah so these are the glamping pods and again yeah no these these can't be premium pitches because these are just electric you see there's no there's no drainage or water on on your pitch well that's it really for all the camping pitches there's also a crazy golf and go-karts yeah kids go -karts. like yeah when i say go-karts they're like they go inside and outside <laughs> and what else there's a sports hall with pool tables yeah oh yeah that's that's quite big in there isn't it yeah. and it's got a bar as well
to bingo now. Yeah. We're not going to miss it this time. No, Actually, we've got 10 minutes. We better go. Come on, quick, Claire. Let's go. Come on. Dabbers that were ready. Bingo books that were ready. 14 grand apparently. Oh, I'm cutting you out. Well, no, um, a couple. I don't know if yesterday was 14 grand. The actual main prize. Because it's linked with all the parks, isn't it? So wish us luck, everyone. We'll be getting a new caravan. Definitely. Uh, have you got your bingo voice, really? Yeah. Go on in. Bingo. <laughs> Your order for is We've got snacks. Three. That's a valid claim. Oh, okay. How are you doing, Claire? Right, guys, we're now going to move on to the regular thing. Two more games left. Two on its own. Number two. Eight and five. Eighty five. Six and seven. Sixty seven. We're getting our new cavern. No, we didn't win a penny. <laughs> Not a penny. We weren't even close, see, no. was we? <laughs> so, should we go back at 10 it's o'clock? still fun though. Yeah, there's another, another round at 10, so we'll a go back. A musical one. Yeah. I did ask a guy, do you have to sing? He said no. It's oh, <laughs> all right then. I might win if we could sing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, back to dinner then, I suppose. Yeah. Well, we got uh, something in the oven. Trying to cheap it out a bit. It's a bit expensive, isn't it? It is. But we're going to eat out tomorrow. So we're going to go back and then go have something to eat and then go back again. Morning, everyone. Happy Easter. We've just had breakfast and we're just going to chill today, I think, anyway. Yeah. Because the weather's not as good as yesterday. Um, but we're just going to have a little walk um, and celebrate our winnings that you won on bingo. I won bingo last night. Like, Go me. I know. I don't think it's going to stretch to buy us a new caravan. No. But 30, 30 what? 36 pounds. 36 pounds. Yeah. Nothing to screw your nose up at. I'll take yeah. that. Maybe tonight we can win the nine grand. I think everyone's trying to win that. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to chill out today, I think. Um, we need to take the awning back down before it absolutely <laughs> rains like mad later on. I think it's going to rain from about 10 tonight. So I'm just going to get that done. And yeah, we're just... We're, we're going to have a walk We're going to have a walk and we will see if we film anything or not. Afternoon, everyone. What a difference a day makes. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> absolutely nippy. freezing. <laughs> right. So we just hire the bikes out for well, just for Kai. Just for Kai. Amy didn't want to go on one. And I was looking, there was a map and it said premium pitches. So they do do premium pitches. The ones we've shown you so far are grass pitches and the pitch that we are on are super super, yeah, super, pitches. super pitches. So I will just show you the premium pitches. Um, that they do as well, which are the most expensive ones. Are they just a bit bigger? Is that the yeah, I think so, yeah. Apparently they're a bit bigger, but oh. we'll have a look. I haven't even seen them yet. These are the premier pitches. They are a bit bigger. I believe you can use a grass each side, well, one side of it, because I think these lot with here would use the grass to the right as you look at it. Uh, and they all come with drainage, water and electric. But yeah, these are all gravel as well. Yeah, so I feel you've got a lot more room as well to get your caravan on and off. Unlike yeah. the pitches that yeah. we were trying to get on. Yeah, these pitches, you've got a lot more room than what we've got down where we are. I think if I come here again, I would be uh, booking one of these. I think they're about £20 more than what we paid. Or £30 more. But like Claire said, it's a lot quieter, isn't it? Around this way as well. Well, I've just taken down the awning because it is supposed to rain, isn't it, tomorrow? Yeah. Didn't want to do it in rain. It was nice and quick though, wasn't it? Yeah, really quick. Yeah, so now we are just about to head off to have some dinner. Where are we eating? I can't remember it. Thunder. Thunderbird chicken or something. Thunderbird chicken or thunders. 
Yeah, something Thunder like that. Chicken. Thunder chicken. Oh, Thunder chicken. Know. Can't remember. Yeah, just all southern fried chicken kind of stuff in it. So we're going to see what that's like, and then it'll be bingo again. <laughs> That's no bingo. <laughs> Gotta love a bit of bingo. I will win the money for a new caravan. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That's it from Vauxhall Holiday Park. Sorry Claire can't be with us. She uh, felt rotten last night and now she's got a rotten cold. She can hardly speak. I think she's caught it off Kai because he was uh, had a, the sniffles before we left. So good job we are going home today to be honest. Um, I'm not hooked up yet, but we are ready to go because I didn't want to be sticking out into the road and then trying to film afterwards. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I think our next adventure is in about three or four weeks and we're off to Braden Waters and that is a caravan and motorhome club site. So a bit different to here and that'll be our first time going with caravan and motorhome uh, we pay for membership so we'll see what it's like like i said thank you for all the new subscribers and we're nearly at a thousand i think last time i checked i think we're 45 away so that's really exciting for us um yeah so we will see you next time no way your body feels so tired.